Welcome to the Reality Revolution. I'm your host, Brian Scott. Today we are going to do an amazingly powerful meditation. The Can You Imagine Meditation. I learned this technique from Marilyn Ferguson in her book on pragmatic magic. And then later from someone named Les Femi. It's a powerful technique. Through the meditative process, you ask yourself, can you imagine? You go through a set of very basic questions to begin with. And in this process, in the meditative state, it empowers you and awakens you to a focus and understanding, a magical consciousness that allows your imagination to become fully awakened. This activates your imaginal mastermind. And by doing these questions and simply pondering them, you relax and you enter into a state where you are aware of the space between spaces and you can imagine whatever you want vividly and powerfully. So find a place to let go of the outside world for a few moments. Get comfortable in your bed or chair. Relax and let go of the outside awareness. Let go of all concerns or worries that you have about your day. Just place them in a box right next to you. And I want you to imagine a box that solves all your problems. They will be available for you when you're done with this meditation. Take a deep conscious breath and connect with your breath in this moment. you several questions. You simply imagine and answer them in your own perfect way. To begin, as you relax, I ask, can you imagine what it would feel like to experience your thumbs, the sense of presence of your thumbs, the three-dimensional presence of of your thumbs intimately and subtly. Can you imagine experiencing your index fingers, the fingers closest to your thumbs, just as sensitively as you experience your thumbs. Can you imagine your thumbs and index fingers simultaneously as a three-dimensional presence? Can you imagine what it would feel like to experience the space, the sense of absence between your thumbs and your index fingers as sensitively and as intimately as you experience the presence of your thumbs and index fingers? As you already know, an atom of matter is more space than matter. The nucleus of the atom is 200,000 times smaller 
than the diameter of the atom. The electrons are much smaller than the nucleus and revolve around the nucleus in space. By volume, the particles of the atom are just specks compared to the magnitude of the vast space of an atom. Can you imagine that you can experience your thumbs and forefingers as clouds of atoms, clouds of particles floating in space right where your thumbs and forefingers are experienced to exist? floating in space, permeated by space, surrounded by space. Can you imagine that all your fingers, middle fingers, ring fingers, little fingers are also clouds, clouds of particles floating in space, permeated by space. Can you imagine experiencing this space between and continuously through all your fingers as intimately and as subtly as you experience a sense of presence of the clouds of particles which are your fingers? Can you imagine what it would feel like to experience your fingers as mist, as fog, permeated by space? Can you imagine the feeling of basking in the space? in which the fog, the mist, the cloud of particles floats. Can you imagine experiencing the silence out of which the phone's ringing emerges? just as intimately as you experience the space in which the cloud of particles, which is your fingers, floats. Can you imagine what it would feel like to use your fingers and the space around the flowing through your fingers as models of how you might experience the rest of your body. Can you imagine experiencing your feet and toes as clouds of particles floating in space, permeated by space, just like your fingers and at the same time as your fingers? Can you experience your whole hand, wrist, and forearm just as intimately as you experience your fingers filled with space, permeated by space, surrounded by space? Can you imagine experiencing your ankles, your lower legs as filled with space, floating in space, permeated by space, just like your feet and toes, hands 
and fingers, wrists, and forearms. Can you imagine what it would feel like to experience your elbows, upper arms, your shoulders as permeated by space, as well as your knees, upper legs, your hips, and the region between your hips just as intimately as you experience your hands, fingers, feet, and toes. Can you imagine experiencing your shoulders, arms, hands, and fingers, and your hips, legs, feet, and toes simultaneously, and equally as clouds of particles floating in space, right where they are, permeated by space. Can you imagine feeling that your lips are clouds of particles floating in space? Just like your fingers and toes, your hands and feet. Imagine now also experiencing your tongue as a cloud of particles permeated by space. The feeling of your teeth and gums intimately as clouds of particles, clouds of feeling permeated by space. And your jaw and your chin floating in space, just like your lips, teeth, gums, shoulders, and arms, hands and fingers, hips, legs, feet and toes? Can you imagine what it would feel like to experience your nose and your sinuses, the region between your upper lip and the base of your nose, the bridge of your nose, in the region between the bridge of your nose and your eyes, in the region between your eyes permeated by space. Can you imagine what it would feel like to experience your eyes more intimately, more subtly, as clouds of experience floating in space? Not trying to see, letting sight and visual imagery be permeated by the space around your eyes, the space behind your eyes, the space in front of your eyes, feeling the touch of space upon and through the cloud of feeling, which is your eyes. Can you imagine that your temples and the region between your temples and your eyebrows and the sides of your head and the region between the back of your head and the front of your head and the top of your head are all clouds of feeling floating in space, just like your lips, your jaw, eyes, tongue, shoulders, arms, hands, fingers, hips, legs feet and toes. Can you imagine that any feeling 
that is present in you right now. Emptiness, anxiety, impatience, boredom, fidgetiness, whatever, is a cloud of that particular feeling floating in space, surrounded by space, permeated by space, just like your head and hands and feet. Can you imagine feeling your neck surrounded and permeated by space? Can you imagine feeling your throat and the space inside your throat equally intimate with that sense of emptiness inside your throat as you are with the cloud of presence which is your neck? Can you imagine experiencing the region between your breastbone and your backbone? The region between all of your ribs permeated by space. Space flowing right through your chest from side to side, front to back, back to front. From shoulders down and diaphragm up, right through your back and the muscles of your back and your chest. Can you imagine all the organs in your chest? Your heart, your lungs, esophagus, bronchial tubes, trachea, liver, intimately as clouds of feeling floating in space. Can you imagine feeling your midsection, your kidneys, stomach, the whole region around your waist, your navel, the region between your navel and your backbone, just like your hands and feet and your head all floating in space, permeated by space. Can you imagine what it would feel like? to experience now your lower back, your abdomen, the sides of your lower trunk, the region between as clouds of feeling floating in space. Can you imagine your buttocks filled with space, the sense of pressure on it as a cloud of pressure floating in space, permeated by space? Can you imagine that even compressed tissue is mostly space? Can you imagine what it would feel like to experience your whole body as a cloud of feeling floating in space right where it is? Space flowing right through the soles of your feet, palms of your hands, your whole body in every direction experiencing the space, basking in the space as intimately as you bask in the sense of presence.
Can you imagine that your awareness of the sense of absence and sense of presence is also a cloud, a cloud of particles floating in space, surrounded by space, permeated by space? Can you imagine that the cloud of awareness is attending to the cloud of experience of your whole body, the space which permeates your body, the space between your awareness and your body sensations, and the common space permeating both your awareness and your body sensations? Can you imagine that now you can witness how you are aware of your feelings of space and presence? Can you imagine witnessing how you are attending to your somatic sensations? Can you imagine intimately witnessing, basking in your awareness of how you feel, of how you are attending to feeling your body, your whole body, and all the space around you, and the space permeating you, and all the other people and objects in the whole room? At the same time, you are witnessing how you are attending to what you feel of space, as intimately as you can. Can you imagine experiencing the silence in that space, in this room? The silence behind you, above, in front of you, below you, to the sides of you. The silence that is pierced by sound. A three-dimensional silence from which sound emerges and exists and again dissolves. The silence and the feeling of space simultaneously. Can you imagine being aware of the direction out of which sound comes through you? Can you imagine that sound comes from a specific direction and that there is silence in the other direction, silence above you? and in between the directions from which sounds come. Can you imagine also visualizing the space in this room, the space above you, below you, and to the sides of you as you feel the space and as you hear the silence in that space and imagine what it would feel like and what it would look like to feel and see right through the walls, the ceiling, the floor, the people and the objects feeling and looking to infinity in every direction at once. Can you imagine experiencing the space in which smells would arise if they were present? and the sensory emptiness out of which tastes would arise if they were present. Can you imagine feeling space, hearing space, 
visualizing space, tasting and smelling space. All as the same space, one space. Can you imagine experiencing all your sensations almost simultaneously in that space? Can you imagine experiencing that space in your mind in which thoughts and images and dialogue occur as the same space that you visualize, hear, taste, smell and feel? Can you imagine that all experiences exist in the same space? A space witnessed by a cloud of awareness floating in space, permeated by space, that opens to integrate all of these experiences of space and awareness that merges with and basks in that infinite space. Can you imagine what it would feel like to float, to bask in the experience of space, the universal solvent, more intimately and with all the sensations that you have that arise within it, witnessing these sensations and becoming one with all simultaneously and equally. Let your imagination run wild. Can you imagine controlling all the electrons, all the atoms, all the space around you and the emptiness of the space as well? Can you imagine yourself in your optimal body? Everything is perfect about it. You are radiantly healthy. You are in perfect health. Can you imagine yourself in a perfect loving relationship, whether it be with someone now or in the future, experiencing that perfect love in whatever way you wish to imagine it?
can you imagine your perfect home in which you choose to live can you imagine in the detail that you wish how large it is where it's located can you imagine Can you imagine yourself in perfect prosperity, receiving large sums of money that come so easily to you and quickly, in increasing quantities from multiple sources on a continuous basis, in the best interest of all, with the free will of all, that you get to keep, give, spend, invest, and circulate joyfully? Can you imagine your wish fulfilled? Bringing up all the tones of reality in your imagination, with your imaginal body activated, with all the details in the present moment. Can you imagine?
Can you imagine your life in five years? With radiant health, perfect love, amazing wealth, and your wish fulfilled. Can you imagine your perfect life in 20 years? Can you imagine a long time from now, many, many years in the future, at the end of your life, and you remember your life, you remember your perfect life and how wonderful it is and the many people that you love are around you. Imagine your next life. Imagine your future self in your next incarnation. Imagine yourself a thousand years from now. Imagine yourself becoming your higher self that has guided you all along through the many billions of years of incarnations. 
can you imagine? Can you imagine bringing all this knowledge back to you? You become aware of it when you need it. And going out into this week and having one of the best weeks you've ever had. Can you imagine the next week being absolutely amazing and the things that you will do? Can you imagine? Now slowly come back into your awareness in your body now, where you sit. Always there, remaining there, is your imagination available to you at any time. And go out into the day, feeling the energy of this connection you've made with your imagination. For your imagination is God. And welcome to the Reality Revolution.